today we will talk about how to choose a light strip for a swimming pool. When we talk about pool lights, the first thing we will consider is whether it is safe. So the first thing to consider for the pool light strip is, is the water resistance of its light strip okay? Normally, we recommend using IP68 level light strips. IP68 level light strip. It has the functions of waterproof, moisture-proof, anti-corrosion. And it is one piece. Let's come here and take a look. This is an integrated silicone lamp, IP68, and this wire is also waterproof. It's one piece, with no links in the middle. This one can be placed in water, or even 5 meters. The second point, what we need to consider is how to, how to choose the appropriate voltage for the pool light strip. Generally, we have 12 volts and 24 volts to choose from. So for the pool light strip, it may be a relatively long application scenario. Generally, a pool has four sides, two short sides, and one long side. The long side may reach 10 meters or even longer. For the pool light we have now, it's a 5 meter and a 10 meter one. For this 10 meter one, if you use a 12 volt power supply voltage, then it will appear at the end. A more obvious brightness difference. If the brightness is at the end, the brightness will be different. Let's first turn it on and see. What we have now is a 24 volt solution. Let's light up this 5 meter roll first. First, let's light up this 5 meter roll. Let's see if there is any obvious brightness change. Okay, we'll see this way. This is the beginning. This is the end point. Yes, this is the start. And this is the end. There is no significant change in brightness. We can see the parameter display, which represents a 24 volt power supply voltage. The whole roll is five meters long. 5 watts per meter, 25 meters, 25 watts. Now, our parameter table shows that there are 23 watts. That is to say, throughout the process, only about 3 watts of wattage is lost, so we can see that its overall brightness will be consistent, will be very good. We are now going to give this 10 meter roll of light strip and power it with 24 volts. We turn on 24 volts. Make sure its voltage is 24 volts. Then we connect the red wires to the red wires. And then black to black. We turn it on. After lighting it up, let's take a look. The brightness at both ends. Will there be a significant change? Let's look at the end and end first. We will see at 10 meters. We use our camera to take pictures. Will there be, will there be a significant difference in brightness? We see no significant difference in brightness. This is what 24 volts brings us. Efficient power supply. If it's 12 volts, we might see obvious brightness difference. This is the first end. It's the end that just powered on. This is the end of 10 meters. The third point is that, when choosing a pool light strip, we need to consider the structure of the LED strip. Now let's zoom in the camera. We'll see this light strip for swimming pools. It is integrally formed. So we see it all here. Waterproof wire is used. All the points, from the beginning to the end. It's all unibody. It's a hole. It can be placed 3 meters underwater, or 5 meters without any problem. Instead of using this kind. This kind of hollow one cannot be used in the pool. We can see that this light strip is hollow. We are using LED light strips to shuttle through this silicone tube. This is hollow. This kind of hollow one is prone to cracking and water ingress. 
when choosing a swimming pool LED light strip. Fourthly, we need to consider the light effect of the LED strip. We're going to light it up now. Let's take a look at the light effect. We can see. And this light strip here, it emits light uniformly. It has no graininess or dark areas. Let's look at another roll of light strip. Then after lighting up, we will see these two rolls of light strips. Both rolls are 5 meters, 5 watts per meter, and the color temperature is 2000 K. We will see this volume will have obvious graininess. In the swimming pool environment, we may prefer this way rather than this one. Although both light strips are IP68, but we would prefer neon light strip with more uniform luminescence instead of this grainy light strip. The fifth point is how to choose LED light strips. The thing to consider about the pool light strip is its bending. We can see neon light strip can be bent like this, but it is not infinite to bend like this. It has a curvature. Under normal circumstances, when it bends, when the diameter is bent, the diameter is generally around 18 cm. Its bending diameter should not be less than 18 centimeters. But we can still see that. Good bending performance. The above is what I have summarized for you. Points to pay attention to when choosing swimming pool light strips.